Hi, Bob. Hi, John. So, as I often put it to you, um, we try to be timely with these debates. What's timely about this one? Uh, this one is not timely. We're about 15 years ahead of our time oh, here. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, the reason I say that is because uh, uh, if you think we've had political disruption because of the uh, negative effects on some people of immigration or of, uh, of trade, just wait until 10 or 15 years from now where we're coping with driverless cars, uh, huge advantages, advances in robotics, huge advances in artificial intelligence. I think the, the potential for, uh, for a real crisis of employment opportunities is, is present. Thus making the case for universal basic income. Well, sort of making it much more relevant. But, but that scenario, this sort of doomsday scenario for employment, is, it's, that's, not, that's not necessarily inevitable, or we're not asserting that it's inevitable. No, I would say that that is debatable too. In fact, we have debated it. Right. Uh, right. And uh, we, the debate we had uh, last, fall, uh, last spring on, uh, on artificial intelligence and what the implications are for the future was, was nailing that exact issue. This issue, does it, does it have a clear left-right complexion to it? Well, what's, what's intriguing to me is that it actually does not. Uh, the social justice uh, left kind of finds a basic universal income appealing because it's a ultimate kind of social safety net. And the libertarian right, some people find it appealing because uh, it involves uh, the minimum possible amount of government interference. There's practically no bureaucracy, there's no micromanagement of the way people spend the resources that they're given. So uh, in, in, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting issue to me because the elements of the left and the right are converging around this idea. Although there are elements on both the left and the right who don't like the idea as well. Uh, and we're going to hear from them tonight as well, <laughs> absolutely. And it's an, it's an interesting strange bedfellows kind of argument too, as you're saying, and one of our teams is going to reveal that. I well, I, th I think it, it's, it's one of these issues that simply doesn't fall into the traditional uh, left-right divide, which uh, I think is, is great. I mean, I think that's a, a way of looking at the world that has gotten increasingly non-functional and uh, the fact that we're able to look at a debate like this that doesn't at all break down into those lines I think is very constructive. It makes it a good debate. Should be. It will be. All good. right, thanks Bob very much. And let's please welcome our debaters to the stage. <laughs>